What I'm thinking now for expansion is, like, down here, there can be some touristy stuff along the river here. And then I can fill this up with more houses and stuff. Not right next to the railroad, though. I think I might expand up to it over here, but it would be an office sector. Yeah, goodness, yes. We need offices. Let's do that. Uh, we can make this a little curved. And this can be a little curved as well. Maybe over here on this side there won't be trees, but there will be commercial right next to the road. Because we need a lot of commercial too. Let's do something like that. Maybe a little bit here. And maybe some right there too and on this corner. Okay, that looks good. And let's fill the rest of this with businesses, jobs, boring desk jobs, which have no physical activity. Unless you have one of those offices which have like the little walking treadmills where you can do your job while you're on one of those. Those are pretty neat. They have some of those in my call center, but I haven't had an opportunity to try one of them yet. I think it would be, it would be kind of weird to take a call while walking at a casual pace. I don't know. It seems like it'd be more distracting for me than anything, even if it would get me off of my butt. Speaking of walking around, I'm thinking I'll turn this sector here and this sector here into little parks along the highway. So I'll be putting some paths in. Mm, yeah, we can even do that now while that's growing a little bit. Let's see. Ooh, let's do gravel. can start there. Oh, I do want it to be loopy. Have a couple nice little curly cues here. And let's do... A larger curly cue here. I get it up next to the road. And well, now I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so we'll get back to that once it's daylight again. Now this part will be tricky because I end up putting the cargo station right where that road would otherwise have crossed over. Hmm. Hmm, might even be worth moving the cargo station for that. Like on the other side of this. Mm. No, we'll just leave it as is. We'll have something else swing on over. Think about how I want to do this though. Is that... Mm, hmm. wonder how much I could move this around. Let's see here. Oh, wait. I can get it pretty dang close to the river. It still could be difficult because I have to worry about the railroad as well as... Oops, come on. There we go. Actually, no, that should be okay. That should give me enough room to immediately start raising this up and over. Oh yeah, this is fine. This is good. And down you go. We'll look at you a little bit more in a bit. But we're going to get some more commercial in here again. Hmm. They are complaining about, or they were complaining about noise pollution. Guess it's all only sometimes. 
And the train station right there probably does not help. Oh, wait. Oh, that's... I'm running out of water. Okay, let's do this now. We're going to do three, four, five... Because I'd like to unpollute the river. Which the Eden Project, as I mentioned before, would do. But I like the water treatment plants. Let's get... Hmm... Like that. And we need some more water itself. How's this? That's better. While well, I'm thinking of it, how's power? Uh, that could be better. Let's get another one of these. No, oh, these are empty now. Let's get rid of them. Oh, and this needs to be hooked. If that's not hooked up. Seriously? Okay. No. Um, there we go. That's much better. And the river... The height of it really ebbs and flows over here. Do you have to consider, though, where would be a safe spot to put... the dam? Now, that's safe spot in big air quotes there. Safe spot. Mm hmm something dinged at me. Oh, these are empty too, okay. Probably up here, because at least if it floods, it ends up in this area. Maybe that'll be something I do this time, and just place one of those down, see what happens. Ah, oh, yes, it is daytime though, so let's finish our park. That's right, wanted to get another path. There. There, that looks good. And we're going to do something pretty similar over here. There's the road. Loop it around the big tree. I'm going to have some more tight curves over here. Instead of just straight up loops. And... No, another loopy over here. And up and around. And one second here. I'm going to pause for a second to think about something else to do. And I'm back here. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to fill these center spots. There's going to be like little bunches of trees. We're doing, we're doing the pine trees because they stand out pretty nicely. But then the rest of this is going to just get tree brushed. Which I can do a little bit of now even though nighttime is upon us. So let's see, what's a good tree type? Those pines are a bit big. I can stick a couple of them around them sporadic. Then these are the small beaches. Let's... Just a smattering. There. That should look nice when it's um daytime again. I once again need jobs though, so... Let's... Get that touristy area I was talking about up and running. Actually, over here, this road is going to become a bridge, because I don't want to have the roads interfere with the train tracks if I can help it. And down it goes. And can probably do something similar with this. Oh, that's... Okay, that's a bit snug, but this will be fine. And up you go again. 
And I think like the one road down here that just goes under the highway. I'm not gonna have both of them have on ramps. Probably just this one down here. Which I'm gonna place now. So it's hopefully not an issue later on. Shut up, slope is not too steep. What do you mean slope is too steep? Oh, that slope. Oh my... Whoa! Whoa, wait, let me place this? Um... No, that's a water slide, not a... Not an on-ramp. The others look okay. No, okay. There we go. Along the shore... We can have a road that follows it along pretty faithfully. And there are some shore-specific buildings now, but this is way too cliffy to really make them work. And the tourism zone, just like the leisure, is pretty noisy. So I don't want it to get too close to any residential, which I'd be putting over here. Granted, highway gets pretty noisy as well, but I can create a buffer zone like this over here. How does that look, by the way? Oh, that looks so lovely. Not quite as dense as the other stuff, though, so let's get a different tree type. Err, fill this in a bit. And get some in there. I'll do this next day-night cycle. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. That actually looks more realistic than the really dense stuff, but I like the dense stuff. Oh yeah, let's fill in a little bit of this center stuff here. Oops, this is a button. Because of the noise pollution. Let's fill this in. Yeah, have the trees stick up through the highway. It's a parkway. Again, not really, because there's trucks on it. Maybe I'll finally make an actual parkway for my city. Which would help somewhat with noise pollution, but would lead to its own problems. So I do have to think about how I'd want to do that. And... Do, 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 almost done. Yay, nice and tree. I think this over here is already too dense for trees. And I already have quite a few along the road there. We're delaying the city growth to bring you trees. And more frenzied clicking, which I do enjoy. I do enjoy my frenzied clicking, but this is much quicker than it was before, at least. As far as the actual placing the trees part. And let's scatter a few in here. And a few in there. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, that's enough. It looks nice. So, oh wait. Yay, there we go. And I can do, yeah. What was even there? I think I just had it as an empty park space because of the high school. But now they have a forest that they can run off and do drugs in. Drugs that they get from catnip pottery. Anyway, let's do that zoning now. Wait, no, first, need to finish placing roads and water utilities. I'm just gonna get the rest of this side of the river that I have unlocked, covered. Yep. It's gonna be a triangle. <laughs> because logic and ease of repairs. Looks more like some circuitry than a water grid. And can I loop this underneath? Yes, good. Okay, so this road's gonna be a bit goofy. Um, 
and the rest of this can be a slightly more normal looking grid. Slightly more normal looking. Nothing in this city is exactly normal. Uh, will this go? Yeah. Okay, so... Tad odd. Let's... We need to zone this though. District it, I mean. So, what should we call it? What do kitties... They don't really travel. They don't... They're not down with that. Mmm... Wait... Wait, totally not a vet. <laughs> totally not a vet office town, that actually fit. You have to convince the kitties, like, I'm traveling somewhere. It's a touristy zone, right? Is it the vet? I'm going to the vet, aren't I? Human, you're lying to me, aren't you? Anyway... <laughs> So, that's what we're going to call it. Totally not a vet office town. It doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but it's one of those that would get a cute little... little name out of the abbreviation. Tenavo? Yeah, we're going to call it Tenavo. <laughs> Tenavo town. Yay. Um, Let's get this whole road here, but not up next to that. And there's going to be more parks and stuff over here because it's a touristy zone. There's going to be shopping. There's going to be tourist traps. There's going to be attractions and stuff. Oh good, it's already powered. And then... Not going to go right up next to the highway like I said before. But next to this road there are going to be some office blocks because they need jobs. Kitties, which don't seem to do any sort of work at all, really want to just work in buildings. They probably like offices though, because they can sit around in an office, unlike, say, an industry job where they get all dirty and they actually have to do stuff and put effort into things. So most of this over here is going to end up being offices, but that's fine. And let's see... Boom. Maybe some there? Okay. Oh, it's doing regular commercial. I didn't actually label it. Um, let's fix that. Boom. One thing I should do, though, with policies is recreational use, yeah. Gotta make the catnip legal, you know. And I do like education boosts in parks and recreation. So we're going to stack all those on the entire city because they are great. Oh, that's not so great, though. Power problems. Let's zone in some more residential so hopefully things get connected up. Oh, uh, no, 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 not there. Trying to avoid placing stuff there. And some houses near the railroad should be okay. Maybe not that close. Yeah. Maybe some here. That's not too close to the highway. Do need some safety though. Let's do that. These can be right along the main road where they all reach pretty dang everything. Yep, need an office. I can do a cemetery there. I can do some over here too, but this will probably be more offices. Making good progress though. My creaky chair is agreeing, but I'm making good progress. Because I need to get to 70,000 to unlock the new zone. And that should hopefully solve all that traffic nonsense from before. Oh, I need to get a school in here too. Oh, looks like two schools. 
That can be closer to the railroads. Trains. The kids love the trains until they interrupt their classes. Actually, no. Kids like interrupted classes mostly, so trains might be, still be good. One thing we are going to place here is there's going to be some beach volleyball on the cliff. Yeah. We can maybe do a skate park, like, right next to the road there. We'll do one in nightlife area, too. Oh, people really wanted to be Tony Hawk, it seems. That's a lot of dings. Can we fit a small park or two? Yeah. Oh, that's much better. Let's do the same thing here. Um, let's instead do maybe a couple small plazas. Hmm. Fit, dang you, there. Maybe a small playground near the interchange for the highway. I can't see what I'm doing, so we're going to wait until daytime again here. And I'll see you guys in a little bit once it is daytime, and we'll continue zoning, building this up, maybe even expanding this side a little bit. Do you want to get kibble fields? But yeah, let's wait for daytime so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> 